Hey what's up guys, Mike Glock here and I want to talk about tables versus divs and um, why this is important. I get this question a lot or, I, or this topic comes up a lot when people see that I use tables and um, I just wanted to explain this to you and explain why I use tables and why you should not worry about using tables, that tables are okay in web design and um, and how this 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 myth came about that tables are actually bad um, when it comes to, to web design so before I start let me just go over and give you an example of what these two are um, table divs obviously being the simple div tag like this here uh, where you have a little div tag and you have your content and then the div closes whereas a table if you wanted to create the same ta container with a table you would use all this code here to create the same sort of container which is just a simple box that expands you know the width of your your page hundred percent right whereas divs here you know just a few lines of code and your tables is will look like this okay now there was a you know back when I first started designing websites this was all there there, you know, that that we use, we use tables back in you know 1996. Use tables, and um, that's pretty much how you pretty much laid out your site. There was no div layers or div tags um, invented at the time. Uh, and then at some point, divs came along, and web designers found that there was a better way to design your site, and there was a movement called you know like web standards where you know designers or a group of people came together to sort of build out something in the community that hey there's a better way to develop your code or to create clean cleaner code more efficient code um, that's not so overwhelming as using all the the table tags and things like that and they you know they came up with some 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 points on why it's better to use divs over tables and somewhere along those lines something was taken out of context and people started saying that tables are bad so what what you need to remember is that at no point um, did anyone say tables are actually bad um, in this web standards movement they were just saying that there's a better way to create or there's a better more efficient way to code your website uh, without using all this markup whereas you would use divs to create similar tables and things like that and it'll create it'll make your code cleaner make it more efficient and your page will load faster etc right and we'll, we'll get to that whether or not that's true or not so along those lines something was taken out of context and everyone ran with the fact that tables are bad even today people think that younger designers think that tables are bad um, when all in all what the web standard movement was trying to say was we don't want people to use nested tables anymore and here is an example of basically two containers and this is what you would call a nested table when you have a table structure like this inside of this outside table here okay so this is what's called a nested table and people were using this like uh, you know basically using this and had like three or four nested tables and you can imagine all the code that it created throughout your site and so when someone looked at your code your HTML code they it was basically just like a <laughs> um, just like a, a, a big mess right and nobody could figure it out so designing that same these same nested tables using div tags you would just use those four those four tags and create the same exact container as you would here so you see the difference here's all this code versus divs right so basically anybody knowing this would say it's very simple it's a very it's a it's a simple closed case that hey you know what use divs over tables right just write clean code that's the whole point right and and um, there's many benefits to writing clean code you know you can be more efficient in editing your code uh, it doesn't take you you know uh, designers and developers a lot to kind of figure your code out to adjust it and, and make changes and um, you know keeping things simple is always better okay so the point here is what I'm trying to say is 
there was a, a misconception that tables are bad, but in all along, people, the web standard movement was just trying to get people to write clean code. So what I'm trying to say is if you write, if you um, design your website today, let's say I'm designing my website and I want to use a table here, a table tag, there's no reason why you should not use a table tag. There's, it's not going to to harm your site. Um, it's not going to be flagged by the search engines and um, it, then no one's going to first off the customer will never care about what code you're using um, and your site will load just as fast you wouldn't even notice the difference if uh, you use a table here versus uh, a div okay so um, the point is you can still use tables so if I if you see me using tables it's because I'm old school and I just prefer a table and in some cases tables are I think are more more uh, solid than a div tag whereas you might have floating divs here and in some browsers you might get divs that breaks um, and whereas if you use, use a table here it's strong and it will never break a table will never wrap um, so it doesn't matter which browser you're using uh, a table will always show up show up good now what's funny here I, I went and did a re some research and I went to Google right because there was there's like this myth out there that tables are bad and um, that it would harm your site um, you know the search engines um, would basically you would get you would get you wouldn't get top ranking in the search engines now Google is basically the, the number one site in the entire world and if you do a view source on their home page and you do a search for this tag here just the bracket and table and hit enter you'll notice right here that Google uses tables okay and their code is they use even st embedded styles in their in their tags and so they use divs and tables okay I went a little bit further and ex in sort to uh, to explore where I downloaded the Google page and figured out that they use a table around this particular their search box here I'm not sure why they use a table there, but they do. Um, and I went a little bit further into Google's site. I did a search. I just did a standard uh, search. And uh, if you do a standard search in Google, you go down to the bottom here, and you see these little numbers that are aligned from left to right, 1 through 10. Google uses tables around these tags. Let me just show you that. So I downloaded that page as well and I found this uh, I found this portion of their site and if you see right over here that they use tables okay and I put a, a border for there and just to show you that Google uses tables in their code now Google is the number one site in the world in terms of speed um, they just came out with this thing called Google Instant, and it's supposed to be the the fastest search in the world, which it is. It's the best search in the world, basically. If you do like, if you start typing, and your load, your pages will actually load now while you're typing. Okay, so if Google is was going to make the fastest site in the world, um, and if they thought that tables would hinder the the speed of their site they would never use tables in this in, on their pages so that goes to show you that breaks the myth that tables actually slows down your site when in fact Google then the fastest site in the world um, uses tables I even went as far as uh, searching I went to Bing and if you go to Bing and you view source you view source Bing's another search engine right the number two search engine in the world you do um, a search for this code here just do enter and you will see that they use tables as well alright so and they use tables for I figured out that they use tables for this top portion here and I'm sure you could design that using divs there must be a reason why they use tables I'm sure it's for the fake uh, the, the, the the fact that they don't want their divs to break uh, amongst different browsers uh, um, um, that are that are out there because tables 
our structure where they're going to work regardless of what browser, whether you're using a browser that's 10 years old or whether you're using a browser that's you know the most current. Whereas divs aren't supported by or, or can can sort of um, get screwed up when you're using older browsers. So from that standpoint, that's why I believe Google and uh, Bing are using tables. And but that just goes to show you that tables are still okay to use. Um, um, I use them whenever I need to, whenever I feel like it. I just use them when I when I can. Um, but at the same time, I do use a lot of divs. I use about like 80% divs and then you know 20% tables when I when I need to. Um, but the whole point in what you what you want to get out of this is the whole thing is you just want to write clean code, okay? And that's the whole point. T tables aren't bad. That's just a myth. Um, and uh, the whole point is you want to write clean code. So if you can um, create a, a, a nested div tag like this instead of nested tables, you always want to go with this route. You want to go with the 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 the, the least markup, the least markup as possible because it keeps your your page more efficient and more clean. But if you have an issue where you're designing a site and you're, you're you think that your divs may break in different browsers go ahead and use a table you know a three column table if you need to um, there's no reason why you shouldn't it's not gonna hurt your site it's not gonna hurt the speed it's not gonna hurt the your your rankings or anything like that and um, Google and Bing has shown shown that in that they use tables as well alright and for on, and also your clients will never care what code you're using um, uh, they just want to go there and have the site and, and use the site and make sure and, and um, they just want the site to function and, and do what they need it to do. All right, so that's my two cents. I went a little long here, kind of rambled a little bit, but that's my two cents on the issue. Um, tables are good, they're not bad, um, but at the end of the day, all you want to do is write clean code. All right, make sure your code is clean and uh, you'll be all right. Okay, hopefully this was helpful to any of you guys out there. Uh, if you have any comments, you know, please leave them. I'd um, love to hear your feedback, and uh, we'll talk soon. All right, bye.